Well, hey there, it's Movie Review Mom. And today I'm gonna do one of my lightning fast reviews rather than the really long ones where I go into all of the things I liked and didn't like and offer tips for parents and themes worth talking about and recommendations and funny lines and interesting lines and all of that. So I'm gonna to try to mix it up where I have my regular reviews for the subscribers who love that and the shorter reviews for those of you who have requested shorter ones. Okay, so the film I'm reviewing today is a lovely animation called The Deer King. It opens in select theaters on July 13th, 2022. And that's a significant day because one of my sons is a 3D animated artist at Blizzard. And so I always want to hear his perspective whenever I'm reviewing or watching animated films. This one is an anime from Japan, and he is all about Japan. And so he's going to be really excited to watch this movie. The movie is rated R for content and is 113 minutes long. So The Deer King is a sweeping fantasy epic that marks the directing debut of Masashi Ando, whose work on such landmark films as Spirited Away, Paprika, and Your Name helped shape the world of modern animation. So the story is about um, this brutal war and what happens in the aftermath. Uh, there's a former soldier who toils in a mine controlled by the ruling empire. One day, his solitary existence is upended when a pack of wild dogs carrying a deadly and incurable disease attack, leaving only Van and a young girl named Yuna as survivors. Finally free, the pair seeks out a simple existence in the countryside, but are pursued by nefarious forces. Intent on protecting Yuna at all costs, Van must uncover the true cause of the plague ravaging the kingdom and its possible Pure. Now, overall, in a nutshell, I thought that the animation was really beautiful. The world building is impressive. There is a lot of action and Yet, it's also very violent. So just a heads up on that content. This is not a cartoon for kids at all. It is an adult anime. So a couple of the things that I didn't like about it were simply the fact that at the very beginning, there's this huge exposition explaining the world building and who all of these people in the kingdom and all of these characters are. And I was like, wait, what? Should I be taking notes? <laughs> and the film itself has a lot of people coming and going in characters and kingdoms. And so it's easy to get a little bit lost and overwhelmed. This could have easily been a series where there would be more time to develop all of the story and the characters and have you really care about all of the characters. Otherwise, I think my overall movie review mom grade is an A minus, maybe B plus, somewhere in there. I did enjoy it. Oh, and by the way, there are subtitles because everything is spoken in Japanese. All right, that's it for my very very short review. I hope if you watch this that you do enjoy it. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.